Richard Carney going to take up pole position on this one. The former single seater driver Ian Conroy alongside him. Then Greg Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, David Yamamoto, Gordon Brown, Colm O'Sullivan, James Holman, Paul O'Brien, and Jeff Richardson. So rolling start for the Walkers Van Rentals Legends and Richard Carney in the day. Orange Machine gets the nose ahead or does he? Because fellow Carlo man down the outside is uh, Ian Conroy, both former Fiat Punto racers. Big lock up and they both go wide and Jonathan Taylor said, thank you very much chaps, I'll take the lead on the way to turn two. So typical Legends action from the off there and we're on board now with Paul O'Brien, the reigning champion. Look at James Holman on the outside though and bumper to bumper stuff, they bump drafted these cars, they push each other in a straight line, get a toe, use those bumpers front and back, you can see there to give each other a little bit of help on the main straight and sideways stuff from home and Paul O'Brien trying to track him down and get that place back great on board covers little touch of opposite lock controls it nicely but out over the curb on the exit of 7B there and on the way back up the hill look at this Conroy now still out in front he's managed to get back ahead of Jonathan Taylor on the opening lap taking all the curb as does Conroy Paul O'Brien now has got by Holman just about or has he no that's 24 that is Holman having a go now down the inside it's hard to keep up now but uh, that indeed is Greg Richardson it was in front of those but Holman's down the inside Paul O'Brien comes with him or does he the two black cars wheel to wheel now on the way out of turn one I think O'Brien can just about do it before turn two indeed he can Conroy beginning to ease away out front Jonathan Taylor in second and then Carney now holding back this queue behind him great stuff Holman and Paul O'Brien together O'Brien going high and wide through Lola corner now as he tries to get a run on these pair in front Carney's gone a little bit wide and dropped two places though on the way down very quick corner leading onto that back straight so Holman it is now leaves the door wide open and uh, O'Brien doesn't need a text message or an invitation he's straight down the inside sideways stuff from Carney in the background on board again with O'Brien once again right out over that curb Oh, maybe got a little bit of help. He didn't look too happy about that one, did he? Just there. Sideways stuff again from Conroy. Always fantastic to watch Ian Conroy. And he's beginning to pull away out front. O'Brien sideways again and out over the curb, pushing very hard. He knows Conroy's a danger man. He does not want to let him away. 24, Richardson there getting all over the curbs on the exit again. In fact, 23 and 24, the two uh, Richardsons having a go there. Two new additions to the class this year. So that's Taylor in second, O'Brien in third, Holman in fourth, and Carney still there in fifth place in that lurid orange car. Onto lap three now and sideways stuff again. You can just see how hard Paul O'Brien is usually inch perfect, but he's having a real go today. And uh, Holman, e equally quick, the UK driver, right with him, right on his back bumper, 104, with the new ye yellow livery for this year. But just as I say it, the commentators curse and the, that car grinds to a halt on the outside. That's very unusual. Legends don't usually give trouble. Motorbike engines. There's our leader again. Another Carlo Manny and Conroy, another ex Tintop merchant. He was uh, very spectacular and great to watch in 1400 puntos before disappearing for a while. He's even more spectacular in Legends now as he hangs it out over the curbs. And again, great stuff from Conroy. All the curbs and a big arm full of opposite lock there as he comes through 7A and B. And it's obviously working for him. He's beginning to ease away, but he's, he, he is on the ragged edge here through Bahrain's Benz, named after the late Martin Bahrain, the owner of the circuit. Down into this long left-hander now. Watch the body language of the car when he turns in. And again, he gets it set up and he's on the throttle nice and early, balancing the car. Taylor looking far more composed, but dropping back slightly. Conroy again flicking the car through here. He's always been just on the exit. Of, uh, there we go again, just on the edge of being very wild, but has superb car control, Conroy. And here he comes up to the final corner, gets the car turned in again. A little puff of smoke as he gets back on the power and drifts the car right out onto the curbs to start another lap here at Mondello Park. Taylor it is in second place still and just trying to balance that gap, but looks like Conroy's in a class of his own today. Even Paul O'Brien can't do anything about him. We're on board now with Taylor. Great sound effects. He fires the gears of the car quite hard on the car, stopping the car with the gears there, Jonathan Taylor. Maybe that's the way to drive these bike engine machines. They're uh, well built, and as we said, they don't generally give trouble. Right in over the curbs for all three there. Paul O'Brien, a little twitch as he grabs a gear halfway through that corner. Caller corner now with uh, Conroy. And again, you can see the back of the car moving as soon as he stands on the power. Does control it really well. Taylor beginning to slide the car around a little bit, as is Paul O'Brien. And Paul O'Brien's head leaning in, showing that he's trying really hard. Conroy on the limit. Here he comes. Oh, a little bit over the limit. Perhaps the back end gets away. Still on the power. A full 360 into the gravel. Can he keep it going? I suspect he can. A big boot full of power, and he does keep it going. Here's the replay. And around he goes. Once the back wheels hit the grass, he was just a passenger, or was he? You can hear him coming down through the gears already there. That's great recovery after the initial mistake from me and Conroy. A full 360 through the gravel trap. He's lost second, third. He's back in fourth place, though. It's good stuff from him. Great recovery. That leaves Johnny Taylor in the lead. A, a man with another, a lot of history here in Mandela Park. He raced uh, Formula Vs, was hugely successful in Strikers and the early days of uh, Dunlop supercars back in the day here. A little bit of smoke from the back of the car would look a little bit worrying. And that, of course, is his nephew, Paul O'Brien, the reigning champion. And Paul O'Brien piling the pressure on. Goes to the inside. Taylor defends. O'Brien goes high and wide to try and get a run on the way out. 
A drag race now to the checkered flag, and O'Brien hasn't quite done enough great stuff. Johnny Taylor's going to hang on for the first win of the day. O'Brien right with him in second place, so great entertainment from the legends, and a big thumbs up from Paul O'Brien. So Johnny Taylor takes the win from Paul O'Brien, and Jeff Richardson in third. Now, so that was a good race. How did it go for you? Oh, great race. Car was going well. The car didn't run this morning at all. We put new carburetors on, new spark plugs. We were last on the grid, and we came away and won the first race. So we're leading second in the championship. So we're trying to hold that. We can't win it. Paul O'Brien has won it. But um, it's been a great day. Thanks to Walker as well. They sponsored us today for every, everything as well. So really enjoying it. It's been a good year so far. Like I won the championship at the last round. Um, so it's nice coming this weekend with no pressure and just relax and I'm bring the car home it. in one piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's amazing. Like the first year, the first time in three years, last fr on Friday, I didn't come testing. The first time I ever come testing, it's just like, you know what? I'm just going to go out and enjoy it and not worry about it. And it's grand now. Happy now. Yeah.